Hello and welcome to this Google Classroom tutorial hosted by Joel Derrick of Strawberry 7. Today we're going to be looking at Google Classroom, but this time from a student's perspective. First up, how do you access Google Classroom? There's a couple of options. So if you're on a web browser, you can navigate to classroom.google.com. Alternatively, if you're signed into any other Google services, you can come up here to the app selector and then select Google Classroom. Next, let's have a look at our classroom landing page. So here we'll have a list of all of the classes that we're currently enrolled in. For now, this user is just enrolled in the one class, Test English, so let's go in there now. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the various tabs that are within Google Classroom. First up, this here is the stream, where all of the updates for the classroom are posted. So when a new assignment or a new resource gets posted up by a teacher, that's gonna appear here in chronological order. On the left-hand side here, you'll also have any upcoming assignments or other bits of work that are due and their due dates. Next up, let's navigate to the People tab. This here will basically show you a list of all of the teachers that are in your class, and it will also give you an easy way to contact them by email. Finally, let's have a look at the Classwork tab. This is where you'll be spending most of your time in Google Classroom. Now, the class itself can be divided up into various topics, as you can see on the left-hand side here and you can click on these to navigate to just that particular topic. There's various types of work that can be put up by teachers. This here, this spelling framework is just a PDF document. It's a material resource, which you can either view directly in your browser or you can also download a copy. Under grammar here, we've got what is known as a question. So right here, this might just be a simple question the teacher's asking you to complete. And once we're done, we can hand this piece in. We get a bit of a list of results of what everyone thinks. Finally, there's probably the most substantial part of Classroom, which is assignments. Now, this is an assignment that a teacher has set for us to please write 500 words on the differences between there, there, and there. You can come down here to view assignment. Now, there's a couple options within here. We've got private comments, so if we want to directly message the teacher and ask a question about the assignment, and that information is just shared between the two of us, we can use the private comment feature. If we have a general question that we might want to ask to everyone and be seen by everyone in the class, we can add that under the class comments. For this particular assignment, we need to submit either a Word document or a text document or a Google Docs document. Um, but the process would be the same if you're uploading a photo or a scan document or a PDF. So up here, we want to hit the Add or Create button. And this is going to give us a few options. We can either create a new document, so a Google Docs or Slides or Sheets document, or we can attach our completed work that we've done already in Google Drive or even on our computer. So to attach a Google Drive document, you just click on Google Drive and it's going to bring up all of your work that's stored in Google Drive. If we'd like to add something from our computer, we can click the File tab, select a file from your device, and that will let us upload it from our local computer. Or in our case here, we want to create a brand new Google Docs document. Okay, so once we're in here, we can type our document up, go through and complete all the work that we need to. Google Docs has all of the standard functionality you find in other word processes. You can attach photos, you can copy and paste text in, you can use different headings and sections. Once we're all done, we can come up at the top here and hit this turn in button. And we'll get a little warning telling us that we're about to hand this assignment in. Fantastic, and then our assignment has been submitted. Now, depending on the settings your teacher has set, you might have the option to unsubmit, so you can basically take that piece of work back, make some more changes and updates to it, and then resubmit it, or this functionality might be turned off depending on the particular assignment you're doing. Now, if we want to return to our main classroom page, we can just click up the top here on Test English, and that's going to take us straight back to the stream. Finally, as always, thank you for watching. That concludes this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for more videos you'd like to see, let us know. If you liked this video, please consider leaving us a like and subscribing to our channel for all the latest updates.